What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I want to talk about the new iOS 8.2 update and the jailbreak that should have been out. So a lot of people right now are in a state of confusion. I mean, we were promised, almost promised an iOS 8.2 jailbreak, and it's not here. I mean, where is it? What's the progress on that? I want to talk to you guys about that. Basically update you guys on what's going on with the iOS 8.2 jailbreak right now. So let me backtrack just a little bit and talk about the previous iOS 8.2 jailbreak. So there has already been an iOS 8.2 8.2 jailbreak, it was just available only for the beta 1 and beta 2 firmwares, also made by Taiji. Now a lot of people that are new to jailbreak are just going onto YouTube right now and typing in how to jailbreak iOS 8.2 and all those old videos come up. So I just want to let you guys know right now that old jailbreak no longer works. There is no current 8.2 jailbreak at the moment. Just want to clear that out because a lot of people are just confused about that. Now that jailbreak used a modified version of the 8.1.2 jailbreak. There was really no new exploits that they used. So it really didn't make any difference to the iOS 8.2 that's out right now. Now the Taiji jailbreak team on their website, it says they had an iOS 8.2 jailbreak exploit that was ready to be released. The only reason there's no jailbreak right now is because Apple actually patched another exploit used by the Taiji jailbreak in the latest 8.2 firmware. Now that exploit is called mobile storage mounter and it was patched in 8.2. Now along with the four other exploits that were patched in 8.1.3, that means there are five exploits that are needed for the jailbreak that have been patched and need to be updated. There's a lot of old exploits. That's the good news. A lot of old exploits haven't been touched by Apple, which makes the job easier for the team. Now this does create a problem. So they can't obviously release a jailbreak right away. They will need time. How much time is hard to say, but a jailbreak is inevitable. It will arrive in time. You just got to be patient like always. And when an iOS 8.2 jailbreak does arrive, I'm actually really excited. With the Apple Watch, the possibilities multiply. The stuff we can do will be incredible. I mean, it's only up to the developer's imagination what kind of applications we can see paired with an Apple Watch, if that'll even be possible. And I'm really looking forward to an iOS 8.2 jailbreak. So like I said, there are some exploits carried over that have been in existence for 16 months that still exist on 8.2. Some have been patched, so there needs to be work put in which takes time. And I cannot give you guys an accurate ETA at the moment. I just wanna let you guys know that Muscle Nerd, a very trusted jailbreak developer, has recently tweeted to stay on 8.1.3. Now, if you guys have updated, it's still possible to downgrade back to 8.1.3. The only reason he says this is because 8.2 patches another exploit that means if there was a jailbreak, it would happen sooner on 8.1.3. So if you guys want to downgrade and be safe, you know, if the jailbreak that does come out doesn't work on 8.2, but only 8.1.3, you guys can still have it. The link to do that down below in the description, you guys can downgrade 8.2 back to 8.1.3. You know, really easy to do right now. So make sure to hurry if you want to do that. Now, another thing to consider is that iOS 8.2 is going to see a very minor update very soon. So just like when iOS 8.1 was released, Apple made little tiny updates, 8.1.1, 0 0.2, and 0 0.3 to it because of all the little bugs. And I can already tell you there will be a very minor update very soon because iOS 8.2 is actually pretty buggy. It is more stable in maps, mails, music application, but I've noticed that in the App Store when you open it, sometimes it doesn't even load. It's just blank. And not only that, a lot of users have experienced many new bugs that they have in the older firmware. So I can almost guarantee Apple will release 8.2.1 very soon. And if that should happen, Taiji would wait until a more stable firmware is out like that before releasing their jailbreak if they were to create it. So we're likely to see the iOS 8.2.1 update and then a jailbreak after then. And this is actually a couple weeks old, but Apple's lightning connector has been broken. So basically we now understand how it works Companies can create duplicates and this enables developers to use serial debugging over that lightning connector, which means a boot ROM exploit could be possible. The iPhone 4, the 30 pin connector was broken and it made possible for a boot ROM exploit, which meant that the iPhone 4 always received a jailbreak, whether tethered or untethered, every software update meant you could jailbreak the iPhone 4. Well, the good news is since the lightning connector has been broken, that could be in the works for the future. All lightning connector devices could be permanently jailbroken in the future. At the moment though, it's really hard to say where the developers will go from here, but hopefully a boot ROM exploit can be found making jailbreaks so much easier in the future. But lately I can't complain. Jailbreaks have been coming out pretty easily, flowing very well. A lot of developers putting in a lot of work for tweaks. So let's hope we can keep this going. So guys, to basically sum it all up, if you're on iOS 8.1.3 right now, try to stay on it, don't upgrade. If you've upgraded and you wanna downgrade back to 8.1.3, that's still possible. Again, you can find the link down below in the description where you can do that. 
Now, as for the jailbreak on 8.2, it's gonna take a little while. There was an exploit that was patched, making that jailbreak exploit the Taiji team already had, you know, ineffective. They're gonna to have to put more work in, which takes time. So hopefully we can see one within a month, two months at maximum, but it will be there eventually. And the people that are jailbroken, of course, stay on your firmwares. You don't wanna upgrade. You have gold pretty much right now. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little update, kept you guys informed. Remember, there is no current 8.2 jailbreak at the moment. The old one no longer works on the new newest public release of 8.2 so you know don't trust any scam websites don't pay anybody to jailbreak your device there's really nothing out there right now and i will keep you guys updated as soon as anything is made available otherwise ios 8.2 is pretty good firmware it's very fast it's actually faster for me i got more memory back that was used by the operating system and it just feels better on older devices check out some of my other videos where i did some tests with it and guys stay strong while we wait for an ios 8.2 jailbreak peace